Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the video. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I made a video talking about some current news uh, where the FCC released a notice um, talking about the illegal use of radio. And I think they were definitely referring to the protests going on because there was a lot of activity with people just buying cheap radios on Amazon and eBay and using those to talk with each other. And um, I said that we needed to keep an eye on it because I thought that there were going to be future rules and regulations uh, that are going to come out of it, and that's what we're about to take a look at now, and that's what we're seeing. So before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, and leave me a comment down below what you think of the video. So let's go ahead and take a look at this notice by Amazon, uh, who are going to be, I think, the first to actually implement some rules and regulation over these radios. All right, so I'm just going to start off by reading what uh, this notice says here. As part of our ongoing efforts to protect our customers and enhance the customer experience, Amazon is updating the requirements to offer radio frequency devices. This will affect some products you offer or have previously offered. And this is from the Amazon Sellers Forum. This is how they put out updates to uh, people who sell on Amazon, right? At the end of February 2021, in order to create a new listing or update listing of radio frequency devices, you will need to fill the FCC radio frequency emission compliance uh, attribute. In the attribute, you must do the following. Provide evidence of a Federal Communication Commission's authorization, either an FCC or certification number, or contact information for the responsible party, as defined by the FCC, or certify that the product is exempt from FCC requirements. As a reminder, per Amazon policy, all radio frequency devices must comply with the FCC regulations in all applicable states and local laws, including registration and including requirements. Amazon also requires you to provide accurate information about the products on the products detail page. You may not be aware that you are selling products the FCC considers radio frequency devices. The FCC broadly classifies uh, as radio frequency devices any electronic or electrical co product that is capable of emitting radio frequency energy. According to the FCC, almost all electronic or electrical products are capable of emitting radio frequency energy. Examples of products that are regulated by the FCC as radio frequency devices include, but are not limited to, Wi-Fi devices, Bluetooth, radios, broadcast transmitters, signal boosters, and devices with cellular technology. The FCC guidance on what is considered radio, radio frequency device can be found on the Equipment Authorization RF Device page on the FCC we website. We will follow up with additional information, including a help page closer to the attribute launch. For information, see the Amazon's Radio Frequency Devices Policy. You can bookmark this article for future reference. So let's just unpack this just a little bit, right? And I know a lot of you, even the ones that are in the ham radio spectrum, don't stay updated on the different rules and regulations. Uh, with, and especially with the cheap Chinese radios and what's going on with them. So let me just talk about that just for a moment and how this might impact those devices. I'm going to start off by saying there are a lot more devices than you think that emit RF energy. I mean, not not only radio transmitters. Like like the article says, it's a lot of electronic circuits and um, uh, computers, Wi-Fi devices, any anything, almost anything that has like any type of oscillation in the circuitry can emit radio frequencies. If you want to take a look at uh, what the FCC uh, designates as an RF device, I'll provide a link uh, down below for this right here, uh, and it'll go over that. But basically, all of these devices uh, have to be certified by the FCC and have an FCC ID number that is tied with them. Now, this has been a little lenient, especially with like uh, the cheap Chinese radios like the Baofengs in the past few years. Some of them have been getting through without any type of FCC certification at all. Some of these devices come through with a FCC ID number on them, but they don't have anything to do with the actual product. Uh, I've, I've seen articles of some people looking up the FCC IDs that are attached to some of these radios, and it's tied to washing machines and all just all kinds of crazy stuff. So I think with the FCC notice that was put out a few weeks ago and with the uh, the current events going on in the world, Amazon may be one of the first people that are, are jumping on uh, the wagon and starting to do something about about this. And that could be good or bad for the amateur radio community. So this is a good thing for amateur radio uh, users because it could potentially eliminate a lot of interference that comes from different devices that aren't certified. Uh, and that goes way beyond Baofengs. This goes to phone chargers, to uh, printers, to speakers, to all this, all types of things that should be certified within the emission standards that aren't, 
uh, could potentially now be starting to be filtered and we may see an effect on that in the coming years on the radio frequency uh, spectrum. We may not see as much interference. And Amazon's a big distributor. Like a lot of people buy their products from Amazon. So this could potentially uh, welcome a big change in uh, electromagnetic interference in the radio spectrum. This could also uh, stop the sale of Baofengs. So if the Baofeng is not certified by the FCC, um, they can no longer be sold on Amazon. Now, I don't know how the Baofeng uh, distributors are going to handle that. I don't know. Uh, some of them may just stick different FCC ID numbers on them, but I would hope that in Amazon that there's like a back-end system that checks and sees if this FCC ID number is the same as a, a washing machine, for example, and maybe stop that process from happening. We know that the, F the, the Baofeng radios are not certified for use on GMRS or FRS frequencies. So they, they can't really have those in there and, and be certified. Um, so we're going to start seeing some changes here. And that could be that the Baofeng programming on the radio could change and it could stop users from being able to implement uh, frequencies on those channels. And if they go about that route, they don't need an FCC certification. And before you start commenting below is what I mean is there's an exception to policy if a radio can only transmit on the amateur radio spectrum and in that case they can be sold without uh, FCC license because as amateur radio operators we are the license holders right so we can make our own radios and this and that because it's on us to be responsible for making sure that they're within all the emission standards and proper rules and regulations so what we could see is the Baofengs to avoid all the fees and every the, the headache that comes with the FCC uh, regulation. Uh, they could be coming out with only amateur radio bands, which could be good and bad. So I think that's going to lean more on the bad side for us as amateur radio uh, members because we are, we've already seen it the past few years. People are always blasting these devices as you can use them as long as you're far away from society or... You can use them if you use low power or whatever. And before they were just disturbing FRS and GMRS frequencies and maybe some other things that they weren't aware of. But now those individuals, if they lock these radios onto the amateur radio bands, these individuals will only be transmitting on the amateur radio bands. So that means now they're on our band space. They're on our, our uh, slice of the spectrum, and now we have to deal with it personally. So in that way, I think this could be a very bad thing. But on the good side, it could remove a lot of electromagnetic interference. And uh, if the Baofeng distributors decide to uh, get their radios licensed, then maybe they will create specific radios for certain services and have those radios actually regulated and uh, certified for those services, which would be awesome because then we won't have the, the muddy waters anymore and people fighting about if this is legal and this is not legal. So in that way, this could be a very good thing for us. So either way, I'm kind of excited about this uh, because this has just this been a long going debate and nobody's ever done anything about it. For for Amazon to step in and do something about it, uh, this could be a um, this could kind of start the movement for other distributors to start doing the same, like eBay and Radio Diddy, maybe and some other services, and maybe they'll start requiring that all their devices be uh, FCC compliant as well. And that would stop a lot of electromagnetic interference for us as amateur radio users, and that would stop a lot of these muddy, uh, don't know if it's legal or not radios, uh, from seeping through the market and people being just generally confused. So I think, as I said in my last video, I still think we should definitely keep an eye on this. Uh, because I think there's going to still be a lot of changes that come. There's going to be a lot more regulations that come. And uh, as I said in my last video as well, I hope it benefits us for the better. But until then, I'm probably going to post an update in a few weeks when Amazon uh, releases a new, uh, a new uh, article on this, on, on what the rules are going to be, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. But until then, uh, 73 to you, and thanks for watching.